so today I want to do something that I don't do very often, which is talk to you about a weapon. Now, I tried my hand at weapon reviews a while ago, didn't really enjoy them, so I sort of stopped doing them. But I want to talk to you about one from Battlefield 3 that I really want to see in Battlefield 4, and that's the M5K. And there's multiple reasons why I want to see this in Battlefield 4, or why I think it would be good, you know, I mean... I'm not just going to say straight up this should be in the game, you know, I'm also going to try and consider another side to the argument as to whether or not it would suit the game, but mainly it's something I would quite like to see and would be interested to see, because it was a personal favourite of mine on Battlefield 3. Now the gun came with the Close Quarters DLC, which really gave you an idea of what the gun is best at, and that is Close Quarters, and it reminded me of the good old days of when you could enjoy Call of Duty, when I used to play Call of Duty 4 and use the MP5, that was a beast, and it was the same with the M5K. You know, it's also known as the hipfire death machine. This thing would just wipe people out. You could just run around with an extended mag and just bury people. It was an unbelievable weapon. And in close quarters, there's nothing else I would rather take with me into a close quarters map than the M5K. Now, some of you who have been with me for a while will know I started out playing Battlefield 3 on the Xbox 360. And I found unlocking the gun relatively easy. For some reason, Gunmaster was one of those game modes that just sort of clicked for me on the Xbox 360. Then when I moved to PC, I really missed the gun. I hated the fact that I didn't have it, so I tried to unlock it time and time again and just ended up getting so frustrated with trying to play Gunmaster on PC. And then when Battlefield 4 came out, I sort of retired from Battlefield 3 for a bit, having not unlocked it. And then when I went back a few months ago and started playing it again, I accidentally unlocked it. We were just playing some close quarters with a few friends, and a game of Gunmaster turned up in the server, and without trying, I finished in the whatever top of the leaderboard you need to finish in, whether it was, I think it might have been top five or top three, and did that part of the assignment, and the other stuff had already been done, so I unlocked it and started using it again, and it just reminded me of just how much I'd missed using that weapon. And like I said, it was a bit of a death machine, you know. I wasn't very good on Battlefield 3 on PC when I moved over, and when I came back to it after time on Battlefield 4, I noticed a massive improvement in my playing, and I think part of that may be the fact that I now have the M5K unlocked. So when I play on these close quarters maps, I have the right tool for the job. You could go into any close quarters combat with the M5K knowing you had the right tool for the job. And provided you could get the shots out first, provided you could be quick enough, get your aim right, you would win most one-on-one -on -one battles. Okay, if someone turns up with a shotgun with the right rounds that can kill you in one hit from 20 feet away, you're probably not going to win that battle. But if you can see that shotgunner before they see you and start laying the rounds in before they even get a chance to aim up at you, the high rate of fire on this thing and the lack of recoil means you will usually come out on top. So it was a personal favourite of mine. Now I can see the argument against bringing this into Battlefield 4. You know, people say, why bring back the same old guns we've seen before? We want to see a lot of new guns. You know, if they just bring back the same old guns, they're just going to be doing a COD and just repackaging the same stuff and selling it as a new game, you know, and I can see people who want to say we've had a lot of the old ones brought back already, especially in Second Assault, so maybe it is time to see something new. And I do totally agree with that, you know, we need to have new things to play with, new toys to play with, but there are some guns that you just miss using, and the other one for me is the AEK because that's not the same as it was, but the main thing is the M5K, I miss having that thing to take with me into close quarters battles, because for me it was a KD changer and a game changer. If I was having a bad day, if I whipped out the M5K, everything just suddenly changed, and the game became so much more fun, and the gun just felt controlled. I think that's what it was. I felt like when I had that in my hands, when I was running around wielding the M5K, I was in control of my own game. I could control what I was doing, and if I wanted to play well, this gun would allow me to do it, no matter what the situation was. So that's my thoughts, anyway. It is a personal favourite of mine, and I think in close quarters, there's not much that really rivals this. So I want to know what you think as well about this weapon. Would you like to see it in Battlefield 4, or do you think it deserves to stay where it is in Battlefield 3, and do you think people should just move on from certain guns in Battlefield 3, and just accept the fact that they're not going to be in Battlefield 4, and they shouldn't be, and we should look forward to trying something new? So leave me your thoughts down below, I'm very interested to hear what you think about this. And until next time, if you haven't already, hit like, you guys take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all very soon.